Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. And yes, you guys, I barely watched The Last of Us. Honestly, I had no intention of watching the series just because I'm not a fan. Well, not that I'm not a fan of the video game. I just don't play video games. And I, I've known of this game, but I've never played this game. This is uh, an HBO original series. It has nine episodes. And again, it is a a video game adaptation and from my understanding is one of the best video game adaptations and I do know that the video game is very very beloved. Will this now get me to play the video game? No, I don't play video games. I am like a, the worst at video games. I'm this person that's like in the video game that that's me. So this review is coming to you from somebody who doesn't know the original source. This is just from the series and this is what they're actually reviewing. So I, there's no comparison coming uh, for, for me on this particular review, but I'm sure you'll find many, many other reviews, uh, reviewers out there who will be comparing the two. Post-apocalyptic world, um, we had a, some sort of fungal infection outbreak situation happen that really just took over the whole entire world within a couple hours, couple days. I think it was like three days before everything kind of fell down and it just spread rapidly. Some sort of fungal infection that I believe was just starting off with like animals and stuff and then adapted into like human beings and being able to control. And then we got these like pretty cool zombies but even though it is like zombie related i guess that's not the full concept that's not the whole i think like the zombies are more like a back deal to it it is more of a how we're surviving a love story accepting forgiving and learning to kind of love again you know and yeah it's a very very beautiful story to be honest it just happens to be in like a zombie infested type of world but we don't focus too much into it. For somebody who loves zombies, it was kind of like, oh my god. But at the same time, I like that we weren't, like, every single episode fighting for our lives with the zombies. I mean, there was always that fear. Not only do we have to fear the zombies, but we also have to fear the people. Like, not all people are good. You know, you're going into these different terrains, these different villages, uh, communities, and everybody is going to have some sort of agenda, some sort of way of surviving. You just don't know who you're going to come across. So I really enjoyed just like, again, the story that we're going, the people that we came across, the different types of people, and just again, their situations and how they're handling just everything. And again, I don't really want to go into spoilers. I mean, it has already been the show already ended, I don't know, like two, three weeks ago, four weeks ago. I don't even know how many weeks ago. It's been a hot minute, y'all. Like, it's probably not even going to be a relative video anymore. But I still kind of wanted to put my thoughts out there into the world as well. Because, again, this is just coming from somebody who has, like, no concept of the original source. So just for those other people like myself that are like, well, can I even watch this uh, series if I don't know the story? It, yes, I feel like you definitely can. I feel like the creators did such a great job to what I think adapting the original source to keep the fans of the video game happy but also creating this story for us other people who have no concept of it because I know there's some people that probably don't even know about the video game that you're able to fully understand the story and start feeling for these people and just want to go along for the journey. The performances uh, from, of course, Pedro Pascal, which I absolutely love. I have fallen into a, like, Pedro Pascal thirst trap. He has now become one of my boyfriends. And then Bella Ramsey. They really, of course, made this series into what it is. I love their story of how it went from you're not family, you're really nothing. You're just cargo. I need to get you from point A to point B and in between, I'm thinking point B is it, but no, then we gotta get you to C, D, E, F, and G because the next point is never getting here. We we never can quite get to where, we, well, we get to where we need to go, but I, there's nowhere where I can officially just hand you off. But I do love that story development between being cargo to liking to respecting to really end up loving right and becoming a family within these nine episodes like weeks months whatever pass by because again we're we are in a post-apocalyptic world everything is by foot like back in the old days 
and I mean there might be some cars where you're trying to get batteries you know the situation where you have a car and then like you have no more cars you know try to get a horse whatever I will say though I will spoil this that horse my god when they killed the horse I was like no not why but anywho that's neither here nor there thankfully it was just one animal that we killed wait it was wasn't it was there a dog involved I don't think there was <gasps> what happened to the dog at the beginning oh I just thought about it what happened to that dog I don't know but I do like how we actually start off the show before you know the whole outbreak happened we actually start off with like the theory of this could possibly happen and then we kind of flash forward we're in 20 oh nine, not 20 we're in 2003 and that's kind of when the outbreak started and then how everything just unfolded from there trying to escape and um the losses that were lost during that time and like nobody really understanding to now jumping forward 20 years and we're just the last of the people in this world trying to survive i absolutely love the look the feel the tone the music everything that was just involved production everything was just so well put you guys i mean everything looks so good because i honestly thought this movie this movie this um series was going to be a lot in the dark i was like oh okay it's gonna be like darkness stuff and i think like in the poster it would look kind of dark and i'm like oh my god we're gonna be like dark dark all the time i'm like i'm not gonna be able to see shit no i just love how the whole world just kind of looks you know we have like this whole like kind of junkyard situation home community deal because everything was bombed everybody everything was left behind to then traveling and you know exploring more of the world we get the graveyard we get other communities whatever and we have underground communities just kind of the look of that to getting to this very beautiful serene location of everything being green and the earth just kind of taking everything back you know like man took it away to start off with and then now it's just coming back you know it's, again it's been 20 years and it's just growing beautifully it's providing for the animals now i'm just gonna go ahead and cut it there because i'm afraid that i'm gonna go into spoilers and i guess at this point i can get into spoilers because it's been a minute since the show came out and do i regret not watching it while it was coming out because it was one of those weekly episode type of series not something that we get everything at once like on like on netflix or something but it was a weekly situation no i don't regret it i really really don't um again i i did had again i had no intention of watching the show at the beginning but i just kept hearing so so many people talking about it now as far as the outcome i don't even know like do i blame him absolutely not i know it's it's insane right because like one person to save everybody kind of situation but it at the end of the day it's like who who is that one person right that we're saving or that we're sacrificing i mean that's like me giving you a spoiler without kind of giving you a spoiler you know i just kind of want to say that so i guess like a little spoiler situation even though i said i wasn't gonna do spoiler. this is what happens when i keep talking y'all oh before i forget the the zombies Ooh, the zombies i love the look like i well that kind of falls within loving the look of how everything looks <laughs> the zombies i think it was really really cool i oh my god like the big man that came out of the ooh, i said holy shit yes i want one more of those and the clickers oh i really really wish we had more of those clickers they were really cool but then also oh my god you guys the one that i thought was really really cool was you know they kind of like hoard up and then like the vines again like earth just kind of like because it's fungus right and it's like they're they're all like together <laughs> i don't even know i don't know how to explain it y'all they're like all like if there's nobody there for them to like eat it's like they kind of get taken back up by earth and they're just there like waiting it's like preserving them or something right and then if you're somewhere close to them so there's like all these vines and roots and it just grows out and if you're like three blocks away or two blocks away i don't know how many how far away it actually goes i think it goes far but if you step on one of these little roots boom it like shoots into like the vines and then it wakes up fuckers up y'all it tells them exactly where you're at and they get up and whoosh because they can run y'all okay these are like runner zombies okay so like just kick and i like i can deal with slow zombies but like fat zombies shit i am i'm going knock some fat that's it y'all okay before i i give you my score my rating which i think you should already know uh, if you haven't don't forget to give this video a like subscribe comment share turn the notification bell on 
all that good stuff you guys let me know in the comments below have you played the video game what did you think about the adaptation are you happy with it is there something that you're like i wish they didn't have it um i think there's gonna be a season two my understanding is that they they did do a part two video game and it's like five years i think in the future so i don't know because like i really like bella ramsey if they do jump forward five years like if they do do a uh, season two like i doubt it i mean obviously they're not gonna wait five years for her to like grow up so she's gonna get recast are they gonna wait a couple years oh also like i liked oh, there's so much to talk about but i don't want to talk about it right because i'm gonna get spoilers but i really like how the last couple episodes the last two episodes was it last episode how we kind of go back to the beginning of ellie's story like from the very beginning of her whole situation and what made her special and then my understanding is that the actress that played her mother um what's it called ashley ashley johnson is the one that voices ellie or voiced ellie in the video games let me know if that's right i don't know i feel like i may just be talking out of my ass but y'all let me know all right guys with all that said i definitely feel like the last of us is a very bingeable show if you haven't already definitely check it out y'all a lot is it for me today thank you so much for watching until next time i'll see you guys in concessions bye <laughs>